first time uh, in Canada uh, that uh, full beverage, uh, full caloric information will be available to uh, Canadian consumers, both the British Columbia and certainly across the country, uh, consistent with the way that they consume the beverages. So, 591 ml, uh, which is uh, 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 basically an industry standard format, will no longer be considered uh, a multi-serve product and will be considered, considered a single-serve product, and the caloric information will prominently be displayed on the front. Additionally, consumers, wherever they consume our beverages, whether they're uh, at fountain or at vending, will also be able to get caloric information prior to uh, the point of purchase, enabling them to make an informed purchasing decision. Great. And um, just things like words about how industry came to this decision and uh, how this is important. This initiative had, had its genesis in, in, in the U.S. Uh, uh, announced with uh, the First Lady Michelle Obama. Uh, and uh, as soon as it was announced in the U.S., uh, we started working on it to adapt it to, uh, to the Canadian environment uh, because we felt it was um, an excellent initiative that, that empowers Canadian co uh, consumers to make uh, informed purchasing decisions. That's great. I think what's really important, and we, we've always known, is that a well-balanced diet at all ages throughout our lifestyle or our life cycle actually help maintain optimal health and, and functionality. So I think what we want to be doing is educating people to to include more high nutrition choices and part of that is also weight management is we want people to be healthier by maintaining their weight and this is just one step that will help them do that. Does this actually make the case that people have to start much earlier like by the age of three that this is really having a cognitive effect on their development? I can't speak to, to that particular issue but I can I can say that really good nutrition has always been the foundation for optimal health and that would include intellectual health. I think calories are just one component in a good nutrition um, program so it's part of it's obviously focusing on weight management which is one major issue today but it's not the only issue so you can't take calories in isolation you do actually need to have that in conjunction with the nutrients as well.